to the afternoon. Thank you for coming back. Um, you know, it's, some people need to come back. <laughs> but you guys are back. It's good. Um, I need paper towel. Paper towel. <laughs> All right, so uh, like we did before, what we're going to do is rearrange this painting. Uh, we're going to paint it on the palette, um, but we're going to uh, uh, rearrange what we see here by value and temperature. Value meaning light and dark, temperature meaning warm and cool. All right, uh, so I have, um, anybody have one of those sheets of paper with the, with the, um, Oh, the Harry. little crib sheets. Yes, Sam, that's right. Okay. The one that Trevor gave me that yeah. you said is in yeah. your career? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, yes. Yeah, he has it backwards. Yeah. Uh, the way I do it. I mean, he right. has it. He it's has it, he it's has it labeled light. correctly. It's he not has organized it, correctly. He has it light to dark. All right. But uh, I go dark to light. Okay. So, this half of our palette will be dark colors. This half of our palette will be light colors, unless you're like left-handed and you want it, and you go up, and you're going to go across this way. Um, if you want to mix your dark colors over here and go to light colors here, that's fine. It's up to you. I don't care. It's your life. <laughs> you do you. <laughs> um, so dark colors here, uh, warm colors on top, and cool colors on the bottom. That's the way I like to do it. If you have a system that you want to try, um, then by all means, give it a shot. Um, but come up with a system and, and just use that system um, all the time, okay? Once you find something that works for you, keep doing it that way, okay? Um, all right, so I'm going to mix this from dark to light. And I'm going to arrange this from dark to light. Okay, so uh, again, I'm going to start off by putting my black down here, which will represent our blue. If you notice, uh, did we? Did you go over the color palette for them that we're using? Yes, but I don't know if I explicitly labeled it out. So go for it. Okay, that. so I'm using black as my blue. Okay. Uh, and we're going to stick with black as blue for this half of the class because there are a lot of people who take painting classes from people who don't understand how to use black. And what do they tell you? Who's taking a painting class? Don't use black. Mix don't use, use black. black. Mix your own black. Mix your own black. All right? That's because they don't effing know how to use black. Okay? I said epic because I don't want to say class, okay? Um, it's okay. I didn't say it. I just didn't want to say it. I was telling you, I didn't want to say it, so I'm not going to say that. Okay. Um, so, uh, so we're doing blue. This is going to learn how to use black as a blue. So that's the thing. You need to learn how to use black as a blue, as a color, not as something to make things darker, not as a black. Because even if I'm using black, I may use some black, but I will always mix um, uh, blue or red into it, or maybe even some yellow, depending on what color the black is. So if I'm looking at a particular black, it has it leans towards something. Um, you know, like so the black on those frames, I think they're worn. Right on top, there are those little square. Um, eight by 10 and six by eights, right? I think those are warm, all right? So I might add, oh, I could probably add orange to that, okay? Um, add orange to make them warmer or white? Yeah, oh, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so I never use just straight black, all right? If I make, if, I, if I'm using black, I will add some uh, red or uh, blue to it, okay? So that's the thing about black. Black is a color, okay? A lot of people say black isn't a color, it's the absence of color. Well, when we're talking about light, that's true. But we're talking about pigment, 
and black is a pigment and it is a color. All right, I think I've said enough <laughs> about black, okay? I can't look like this. <laughs> I'll be in my um, So I think I'm gonna use, uh, go back to the uh, burnt sienna like, like we did this morning. And I'm going to mix up a mother color again. What did you call me? Yeah. yeah. So what you just add there's a yellow ochre. The yellow color. ochre. So I'm going to stick with that right there. So this is a color that I like to use. That I'm going to um, take. It's going to uh, evolve into the rest of the colors. All right. And one of the things I like about mixing colors this way is that you are creating a harmony right off the bat, okay? And the way I like to think of harmony is um, painting using colors that have the same light on them. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have another um, de definition for harmony? No, I think that fits. Because what you're also doing from a temperature standpoint is neutralizing the warmth by having the ochre, the black, and the burnt sienna all kind of they're harmonizing together into sort of like a middle field yeah. that you can branch out of. That sounds good. I like it. Yeah. Write that down. Uh, I can't remember what you said. <laughs> yeah. So it's on the recording. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, so um, darkest colors will be this here. So that is mostly blue. Um, I'm going to open it up just a little bit by adding some white. That looks good. That looks good. I'm going to add a little bit more just to get these reflecting areas here. Uh -huh. What are you doing? What you do over there? It's okay. All right, um, what's next? Um, so it's kind of a toss up between the red and the, and, the, um, and the green. I think I'm gonna go for the red. I'm gonna add a little bit of the, the cad red. We're gonna be using cad red here. And I'm adding that in here into the burnt sienna making a nice dark red with burnt sienna and some cad red. So when you're mixing this, you're moving along the value scale where all of these are relatively close in value, mm -hmm. getting lighter, but you're also only mixing colors that are explicitly useful to you yeah. for this painting. Yes. As opposed to like every possible combination. Yeah, and then I might even just see how this works in here. Cause that's a nice, nice way to, um, that's a nice way to like experiment. I think I remembered hearing you call those border colors a long, long time border ago. Colors. Cause we have border skirmishes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. That's a nice, look at this nice um, violet. Kind of a nice violet. Is that in your image that you're going to paint? No, but there it is. <laughs> if you want to see how to make a violet with these <laughs> colors. It, it'll, well, actually, that color probably will become useful in, say, yeah, reflected light. I would light say it's in, in the, here. Yeah. It's in there. Being sure actually, I'm going to actually I'm going to take that off for now. <laughs> I'll put it over there. Oh, why did I put that there? That goes there. Um, now the green cup. Now uh, I'm just going to go with this for now because that's what we're using this morning. What is this? That <laughs> right there. Uh, um, yeah. I'm sorry. Yellow. Oh, you weren't here. Word. Okay, you're yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, yellow ochre. Thank you. You can come over here. You, 
Come over here. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to be right on top of you because I see like a bat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You should be over here to see what I'm doing. If you if you can't see what I'm doing, if you can't see what I'm doing, then then um, come over here. And but you see you see how that that makes a nice green. With that, now let's let's do this. That's a nice green too. See the difference? So I'm confused though. Th there's an intuiting that's happening here. So this is this is a green right here using the yellow ochre. This is a green using yellow. So you just put them side by side yes. just for comparison. Yeah. Yes, but also which is cooler, the cad yellow light or the yellow ochre? Yellow ochre. Okay. Yes. It's cooler? It's cooler. It's cooler. It's more chromatic, but it's cooler. The cad yellow light was put underneath the yellow ochre mixture. Right, that's why. And in his, in the way he organizes things, warm to cool, dark to light. No, I get it. I just yeah. thought that yellow was warmer than the. No, this is yes. warmer. Okay, I see what you're saying. This is warmer so than you, this. Right. I would, yes. Yeah. It's it's less saturated, but I think it's warmer than this. This is a cool yellow. This is um. I think I'm using Hansa. So, yeah. uh, no, uh, it's Windsor Lemon. Okay. Yeah. So this is, yeah, yeah, and so like, this is a warm yellow, mm -hmm. cool yellow. Mm -hmm. So like in the way that he's organizing this palette, it's gonna be incredibly unlikely that he would ever put a cad yellow lemon above a yellow ochre mm -hmm. in the way he's organizing things because the yellow ochre is a warmer option and he tends to keep the warmer colors up. The cad yellow lemon might go into the red, which is warmer still, and make an orange that way. But see how there's places where it's like, mm -hmm. okay, I might never put a color. I'm never going to put cad yellow lemon here. There, it's it's only going to lighten it. <laughs> there's another place for it down the road. Thank you. Okay, so uh, that's not working. It's too dark. I mean, it's too light. But I wanted to open it up and show you what it looks like. Mm -hmm. So these are greens that I made without blue, or black as my blue. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And that's one. Okay. Um, I want to bring this down here because this is going to be cool. So it's going to run this coolness down here. All right, so I got the vase, um, the red cup mostly here, the green cup. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna try to put something in here for the lip of that red cup. So here's a crazy thing. This right here is orange. Look at that, like, so this is red, but then I put it under this light, mm -hmm. now it's orange. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because the light itself is rather yellowish. Yeah. Um, so when I'm painting uh, a, something red, and if, if, if it's in the light, it's orange. Okay, like a red truck in the sun. Okay, the shadows would be like a dark red and then the um, the uh, the hood or whatever the roof will be orange. So that's the lip. That's your lip. Looks the bright, doesn't it? I I'm curious about your thoughts on this, Chris. I had a realist painter in Philly tell me once, if you want to make if you want to make your lights more colorful, dull your shadows. If you want to make your shadows more colorful, dull your lights. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, now the um, yellow apple. So I see that 
that uh, shadow is kind of violet. Right in here, Chris? Yeah, so I'm going to just move this. I'm just moving this over into, into the black. And that might be, that might be my shadow there. Okay, so sometimes all I have to do is shift stuff back and forth. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of white. That looks pretty good. I think maybe a tiny bit of yellow. Sometimes you just, you just, it's like cooking. Add a little bit of that, a little bit of that, a little bit more for Santa Claus, a little bit more for Santa Claus. Okay, that's good. I think that's a good shadow color for that apple. Um, and I think this color might serve for the reflection in the vase and the um, cast shadow on the surface. And that is just black and white. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I did get a little bit of this in here, a little bit of this crept in. You know, I think I might just extend this out so it's cleaner. And you know when he's mixing these, if he's going lower, he's thinking cooler. If he's going to the right, he's thinking lighter. So when he's talking about something creeping into it a little bit, it was like, it's cold color, but I put a tiny bit more warmth in it than it would have just been just those two colors. Now the, um, I think what's left are the highlights. Oh, and the apple. All right, so I'm going to push this back into here and back out. Because it's, that apple's kind of warm, so I'm just grabbing some of this and pulling it back out. And then maybe I'll just add some more of this yellow, just to see. Mm. Because um, sometimes I just, I just wanna, I just wanna F around. <laughs> I'm not gonna say fuck. Um, I just wanna F around and find out. Glad I'm a professional. That's kind of a nice highlight, right? And this might work, this might work here. This highlight there. Um, maybe on the mug, there's a couple of highlights there. The red mug. And um, let's see, what else? Oh, the, uh, the rim of the uh, green mug. I wanna give that a little more flavor. So I'm adding a little bit more yellow to it. I'm gonna just Google, push this over Google here. Translate would say you're adding a little bit more war warmth than the white can provide on its own. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. <Sandra. laughs> oh, um, it has its own Chris translation. Yeah. Thank you. In Japanese. Yeah, that's right. Japanese, that's right. That's right. That's right. Chris. And yeah. now I'm going to really brighten this up for the surface and then maybe push this back over. Oh, wow. What the hell? I don't know what that is. Where'd that come from? Oh, that little bit Thank you. <laughs> so here I'm having this light color shift from cool to warm. Um, I had a teacher who told us that if you want to make the highlights pop, 
use a warm highlight on a cool object and use a cool highlight on a warm object. Mm -hmm. okay. Does it work? Uh, when I remember to do it. <laughs> Sometimes I just like... Fuck oh. around. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> we don't say that yeah. in this class. Where is he? All right, so here yeah. is that scene uh, painted on the palette in alphabetical order. Dark to light, warm to cool. Wow. Do you do that every time you um, prep in for a painting? Do you, is this? <laughs> I, I usually do it as I paint. Mm -hmm. Like if you look at my palette over there, um, when you get a chance, the palette that I painted that I mixed for the painting that's on the easel, okay. I did that. But I did it as I was painting. Right, so I started out, so I actually like mixed it like this, but as I was painting, yeah, I did it. All right, so you all go ahead and mix that. Okay. 